pictures, the, uh, the worse this, the picture actually yeah, is. Yeah, I guess that's a way of putting it. Yeah, that's, that's how these maps uh, unfortunately are. You don't want to see those vibrant yellows, reds. And as you'll see here in a second, there are colors here that indicate numbers so big that there is actually no color scheme for them. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But a rainfall since Friday, so this isn't necessarily just today, but uh, since Friday before the weekend, this is how much rain has fallen. So essentially about North Manchester up through Huntington, Columbia City, Fort Wayne, and then northern Paulding County into Defiance County, there's just this corridor of about an inch to an inch and a half of rain that has fallen. Go a little north of that, more like a half an inch or less. South of that, same story. So yeah, there really has been a bullseye, uh, mainly in the central portions of northeast Indiana that has been seen, uh, seeing the heaviest rain. Look off to the south and west toward the plains though. You see these streaks of white? Then it indicates rainfall of five to seven inches plus just since Friday. In fact, many of these areas in eastern Kansas and western Missouri were seeing monthly rainfall totals of about three and a half inches or so just before Friday. Uh, and remember, by Friday, we were still over six inches of rain. So we were seeing much more rain than our friends to the south and west. But now they're a little over where we are just because of how wet and stormy things have been most recently with all those thunderstorms. And that's what thunderstorms can do, not just bring severe weather, but enhance rainfall. And it's not uncommon to see some of these streaks into our neck of the woods, especially the deeper we get into the spring and summer. So far for the month, nearly seven inches of rain in less than 30 days. That is 3.61 inches above average. For the year so far, nearly five inches above normal at 15.96 inches. So wet no matter how you look at it. The hope is as we get into May, we can start to see things dry out. Usually that is the case. March and April are notoriously soggy. It's May and June where things become at least a little more dependable as far as dry days go. 74, 63, that's what we did today for a high and low, well above our average of 66 and 44 with 90 and 30 being the record highs and lows. Well, that basically tells you the picture of lots of rain uh, with rain on the lens there, mid 60s to low 70s in northwest Ohio from Fort Wayne north and west, seeing temperatures into the mid 60s. Here's that rain that's really been the main reason for temperatures being as cool as they are now, as opposed to the mid 70s earlier. Pockets of heavy rain into Grant County, eventually into southern Adams, Wells, and uh, as or I should say Wells, Adams, and then into Van Wert counties and Paulding counties. As I zoom out, you can see the orientation of these showers, the heaviest rain moving north and moving east. So I expect these pockets of the heaviest rain to actually miss Fort Wayne and more uh, kind of go off to the south into portions of northwest Ohio. Kind of a good bad news situation. The good news is, well, Fort Wayne in particular has been under the bullseye the past several days, doesn't need more of the rain. Bad news for folks in Wells and Adams County is that you're going to be getting in on some of that heavier rain here very shortly. Hourly forecast does show variable temperatures in the mid 60s into the low 60s by about 1, 2 a.m. and then eventually cooling into the mid 50s by about sunrise tomorrow with rain ending right around midnight tonight. Future track showing that exit of those showers between 9 and midnight. Mostly clear tomorrow and mostly clear into Wednesday too, although Wednesday morning could see a sprinkle. But we're back to mostly sunny skies by midday Wednesday with the next seven days not looking significantly wetter than it's been. It's just any more rain is not necessarily uh, something that would be good news, especially considering we're at almost seven inches for the month. If you are looking to mow the next few days, tomorrow looks fair only because of the rain that fell today. Wednesday and Thursday look pretty good. Friday are back to fair with that next front moving in, bringing showers mainly in the afternoon. 81, by the way, on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. We're back to the mid 70s by the weekend into early next week. If you'd like to track the rain in real time, by the way, you can download our first alert web.